Okay, this is um, the Laser Jet Enterprise M612 printer. Okay, it's a very fine printer. So, this is the display screen, and um, you have where you put the paper, um, paper one, tray one. Okay, this is the tray two. Where you put paper, you press the button and you bring out the toner. It uses um, toner 147A. That's toner number 147A. That's what the printer uses. So, this is where you see the serial number of this printer in case you want to have anything to do with the serial number, okay? Okay, so we're going to power this printer with this. You have the three pin. So you go to the back and let's power the printer. Put the power cable. Okay, meanwhile, before then, this is where you have the um, fuser unit. This is the fuser. Okay. These are simply unit at the back. So let's power it. Okay, you on the printer. The printer is coming up. We also have provision for USB. Okay, so you can put USB here but it doesn't come with USB cable, but it has provision for USB ports. So we close it, system is coming up. Yeah, while it's listening, you are not permitted, allowed to unplug the printer. So that's why you have do not unplug. Protected by HP Start, HP Short Start. So it's still initializing. Okay, so this is what you have. So you choose language. Okay, since I'm using English, and it's a, it has a um, touch, soft touch. Screen touch, select English. Next. Okay, location. Um, I look check for my location. The location for this is um, Nigeria. So I select Nigeria. Next. Okay, date format. Today is 21st of September. Next. Okay, in case you have to change anything. The time zone. Okay, so the time zone I want is um, you can select your own time zone here. Okay, I'm selecting my time zone. Uh, GMT one um, then in GMT plus one. Okay. Any plus one plus one West Africa. Okay. I select this and click next. This product is about to check the internet connectivity if available. Service that improve user experience can be enabled. Proceed with connectivity. Check. No need, no internet connectivity because it's not connected. Okay, enable auto send. It depends on what you want, the option. Don't want to enable auto send. Next, enable print from USB drive. Yes, um, 
let's just not mm. enable it. Let's not enable print from USB drive. Okay, no. You can select your own. Okay, we move a bit fast and um, that's so you can print from USB drive, but I don't want now. Let's do another connection, the network connection. Okay, select this and select network. I want to make it an, a network print. Select the CPIP, IPv4. Okay, I configure method. Sorry, configure method. You say manual. Okay, under manual settings, put the IP address and I'll put my IP address. Okay, you put the IP address. You put your IP address. Um, okay. You put the subnet. Two five five. Your company supplies the subnet. You put the default. Okay. So you've entered the IP address. You've entered the IP address, the subnet mask, and the default gateway. Okay, when you've done all these things, you can now go to the back and connect the network cable. If I have the network cable, I'll connect it here. Okay, you can see that is blinking, showing that there's network. Um, it has been set up. It's now a network printer, it's a network cable. You can do it wireless. We decided to use a network cable. So with that, you can now, you are good to go to use the printer.